Hey everybody, it's Ron, Four Seasons Barbecue. Happy Sunday, happy Memorial Day, uh, Labor Day weekend. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, anyway, we can, you know, still uh, think about our first responders, our military, since they are, you know, our, our saviors, our heroes. They're not the savior, but they save us. Anyway, I am doing, as you can see, ribs today it even says on there extra meaty I'm going to uh, cut these out get them seasoned and I think I'm gonna try this Weber dry rub I've used it before but it's been a while I haven't used many rubs since I got Galindo's <laughs> yeah this was all chunked up Anyway, uh, smoky brown sugar. Get the glare off there so you can see it. Anyway, I'm going to try this out on the ribs today. Like I said, I used it a long time ago. But, and I think it was pretty good because there's about half the bottles missing. Anyway, I'm going to go get the grill fired up. I'll run you out there with me and show you what I'm using. And I'll be back in the blink of an eye. All right. Using Greg from Woodshed Smoke and Barbecue with Slow Hand. Using his, that's a 24 inch tall basket. I know you've already heard me say this before. <laughs> but I love that thing. It's only 11 inches round. And uh, I think that the coals burn slower if, they, if they're if they stacked tall instead of laying out flat. And then I always light my fire from the top so it burns down. Since fire always wants to burn up, I think if you light it on the bottom, it burns up faster but I'm trying out this I saw a review on this the other day you can see my empty bag of Kingsford over there I'm gonna try out this uh, expert grill from Walmart it's only six dollars a bag so I'm probably gonna regret it but I'm gonna try it see if it works and we're going with the ugly drum XL the six footer Anyway, let's get this fire going. Be back in a little while. <clears throat> Alright, here we are back. Alright, anyone who's watched my channel knows I don't take the membrane off. I'm going to try something though. I saw um, Jeremy, Mad Scientist Barbecue, score his before. And he said he liked it a lot. So, I'm going to try that today. But, I did a comparison one time with scoring, or with a peeling and not peeling. And I didn't notice any difference at all. Maybe the ones that I didn't peel were a little juicier. I think the membrane holds in the juice. But that's just my theory, my thoughts. And I'm not in a competition when the judges are gonna whine and cry about it. So, this is the way I do. Uh, lost my season. Oh, there it is. And I think I do believe the flavor gets through the membrane as it's cooking, but I'm sure it will now since it's scored. But leaving the membrane on, I've always had super juicy ribs and very tasty. I don't waste the extra time taking it off. It's not a lot of time, but still, while I'm peeling membranes off, I could be playing Angry Birds or something. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Let's 
has a really good color to it. I saw at Menards yesterday, I saw a rib rack that would hold six ribs, six racks, I mean, almost bought it, I should have, because you can stack your ribs up this way instead of laying them down, you get a lot more racks on one shelf. Anyway, I'm going to let them sit, get all juiced up, and then we'll go out in the backyard and put these babies on the UDS XL. Be back in a little bit. All right, look at these babies sweating out. Dang shadow getting in the way. House lighting, you know. Anyway, let's get these out on the grill. All right. There's a big rack. Get my temp probe on there. This one I'm not using yet. This may be locked up. And I'm gonna try, you guys have seen me use my pellets from my piece of crap pit boss on my grill. I'm gonna try the pellets in this today. So I gotta go get those and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to pull these out. All right, let's get these ribs out of there. Man, I just love that sound. Katie did, cicadas, whatever you wanna call them. I always call them Katie did. Ooh, we got some good color. We're getting bendy already. Take these in and I'm not a huge fan of wrapping, but you know, look how bendy them are. But I'm gonna give it a try. That one ain't too bendy. Get them in the foil and get them back on. They'll get bendy. There they are. Let's get them inside and get the stuff on them. All right, we're inside, gonna get ready to wrap. Wrap the ribs, I ain't singing nothing. Uh, throw some butter on here. And also, quite a few months ago, I got a package in the mail from a guy who calls himself Canadian Jim. I think some of you know who he is. And it was a box that had four cans of Canadian maple uh, syrup. And I'm not a big breakfast guy. So, instead of brown sugar, I'm going to use some butter and some maple syrup. They got that in a, in a squeeze bottle. But the cans he gave me, the 
cans he gave me look like this. 400 or 540 milliliters. I'm not sure what that is in ounces. Anyway. And on this one, I'm going to, I'm putting Suckle Busters Bam on this rack. That's coming out way too slow. I'm going to put Suckle Busters Bam on this rack. And I'm putting it on this rack because it's a weird looking rack. Not everybody likes the heat. But me and my son do. So one rack is going to be spicy. And if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Let's see. A little bit of spray butter on this one to get the bam to stick to it. Now, <laughs> get ready for some sneezing. This stuff kicks my butt every time. Sneeze. <coughs> you cough first. <coughs> uh, yes, I'm sneezing away from the food. Uh, and then, can't from Daddy Dutch. So he likes to season the bottom size too. I'm not going to put that kind of butter up there because, yeah. Just something to make it stick. A little more syrup. I'm going to tell Canadian Jim thanks for sending me all this great tasting syrup. I did make waffles one time and use it. I'm only going to show you what I'm doing to, <coughs> to just one rack. I don't want this video to get real long. Anyway. And I'm going to cheat. Because I told everyone needs to be done at 6.30. And it's 4 o'clock now. So, I'm throwing these in the oven. They've already got smoke on them. So throw these in the oven. Finish them off. And hopefully they're good and tender. Bring them back in a little bit. Alright, here we are. I just took the uh, ribs out of the oven. They've actually been in, well, about 10 after 4. Now it's 5.54, so six minutes to six. I'll check these babies out. Oh man, look at all the, look at all the juice in there. Now what I did show you, oh man, I got some of that on my thumb, that's fantastic. What I did show you, I did add, I forgot to add liquid to it, so I put water in there to kind of braise them a little bit. Anyway, look at the, look at the bone pull on those things. And, you know, like I stated earlier, I'm not in a competition. I like my ribs, and so does my family. 
all off the bone. We don't want no resistance at all. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these ribs out. Oh, there's my spit. Oh, my tongs right here. I don't expect to be able to pick these up at all. Oh, look at that. I could pick them up. <laughs> Let me make this old. There we go. See there? Breaking apart. Just the way I like it. Now, what I've done is I've heated up an old pickle jar with some really hot water. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this without making a... total freaking mess here. Man, if this all goes on the floor, the dogs are going to be happy. And jar in the... Well, they might not be happy with this one, because this is one that I put the, the BAM into. So I heated that jar up with some really hot tap water. So when I added this out of the oven, it wouldn't bust the jar. Anyway, this is a glaze that I'll be using to put on these ribs to finish them. Oh yeah, so I already got a piece busted off. Perfect my style ribs. Look how red that meat is. I got all my spices and crap back there. Orange. I don't know. Can you see that? Do I have to bring that up to the camera? Let me get you guys back in the picture here. said I ain't no competition but this is exactly the way my family and I like them super tender fall off the bone right, let's unroll this next rack Oh crap. There's more juice in there. Look at that. And yes, I did add a few ounces of water, but I had all that maple syrup in there. And I finished them in the oven at 325. Well, they're not finished yet. I'm going to glaze the tops a little bit. And then put them back. But I didn't put that much water in there. That's butter, maple syrup. So, let's take this rack out. Oh, okay. Can I just let me get a new paper towel here? <laughs> yep, they're falling apart. Perfect. Yeah, see there, that one just broke. Can't even pick them up. Gracie. There's my Gracie. She's waiting for me to drop something. 
There's Riker. He's waiting for me to drop something. Django waiting for me to drop something. What are you guys doing? Huh? Yeah. They're all waiting for me to drop something. Sorry, guys. Ooh, maybe I could put some of this on your guys' dog food tonight. Be a nice, tasty treat for you. Now, if that springs a leak, all that's going inside my stove. <laughs> Let's pray it doesn't spring a leak. And this is my this is my big set of ribs. Bones coming right out of there. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that's how you that's how you make a McRib sandwich. Take all the bones out, just put the meat in a bun. A little bit of something something on there. And you're good to go. Yeah, we got room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know what I can do. I got this great big pan up here. Got this great big pan that I continually just throw in the dishwasher. Keep it, keep it moving. That's probably what I'm gonna transport these in anyway. I'm not eating these here. Going to a secured location so no one steals my ribs. Oh yeah. Yep. What I'm talking about. Now the bone fell out. I see these two juices could go together because they're not spicy. counter get rid of some toasters and some spices and everything else I'm just gonna pour this right into that one there's one on that too he's laying around oh looky there there's a piece of meat fell off yum oh my gosh I'll bring you back when I figure this out. All right, look at there. That's two cups. It's just a little over two cups. That's what I'm gonna glaze these other two racks of ribs with that completely fell apart. And then this rack that didn't fall apart quite as bad, gonna get glazed with the hot and spicy stuff. Bring it back when it's ready. Anyway, you guys already saw what I did to the ribs, how I did them, and all the techniques and everything. I just glazed them with the different sauces, or the au jus or whatever you want to call it that came out. Glazed each rib with its own au jus. And all I got to say is, happy Labor Day. 
Happy Sunday. Have a great rest of your holiday weekend. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up. Oh yeah, I put this here because my daughter got me this for my birthday. I told her I was never going to spend that much money on a tumbler. So she bought, bought me one for my birthday. And I tell you what, I put ice in this at like 8 o'clock this morning. I've refilled it two or three times with tea and still the same ice in it. Haven't added any ice to it yet. These things are badass. But I told her I wouldn't spend the money on something like that, so she bought me one. Thank you, Lindsay, very much for my birthday present. Anyway, hope you all have a great rest of your weekend, holiday weekend. Four Seasons Barbecue is out. Oh yeah, forgot to tell you what time it is now. I told you I'd put ice in this. 7.30, 8 o'clock this morning. It is now 6.14 p.m. That's how long that ice has been in there. Adding new tea to it when I need it. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. Have a great weekend. See you on the next video.